Welcome back to the second intermission report. The Adirondack Flames with a 4-3 lead on the Syracuse Crunch. I'm Mike Kelly as we come to you from ice level at the War Memorial Arena, and I'm joined by Carter Ashton, forward of the Syracuse Crunch. A goal and an assist tonight. How do you see the game so far? Uh, we're giving up a little bit too much uh, offensively. Um, you know, we're, we're turning pucks over, and they're a team that capitalizes off opportunities. So um, we're going to look to tighten up in the third year. Obviously, we've got to uh, get a goal to tie, but uh, you know, we're looking to tighten it up. Flames have played the crunch tough all season long. How do you explain it? Uh, you know, they, they compete. Uh, you know, we have to match their compete level. Uh, they got skill, they got work ethic, so uh, as long as we match that, we'll be all right. Uh, first period was good, second period, not so much. Yeah, well, we're all right, though. It's just a couple uh, couple breakdowns, and we know what we did, so as long as we build off that, coming to the third, uh, you know, we're a team that can score, and, and they're playing our own building here. Uh, down one goal, we're pretty confident we can come back. Still lots of time. Thanks for joining us, Carter. Thanks. Welcome. That's Carter Ashton, forward of the Syracuse Crunch, as Adirondack leads 4-3 on Syracuse after 40 minutes of play.